Welcome to TEC Tube. I'm Ryan Hoger, and this is part of an ongoing series on gas furnaces. In this video, we'll be talking about the sequence of operation of the furnace. So let's head out into the lab and get started. We're gonna go ahead and start this guy up, and this stat's kind of unique in that it'll actually give us the sequence of operation of what's happening in the order that it's happening. So see, the very first thing that's gonna happen is the inducer motor is gonna turn on. That's this guy down here, like we talked about in the last video. He needs to turn on in order to move airflow through these pipes. He's bringing air both into the furnace assembly, through the heat exchanger, and then back out of there. So that's step one. The pressure switches make, proving that we have airflow. So that's these guys down here. They're telling us we have sufficient airflow moving through these pipes in order to be able to have combustion. So the next thing that'll happen, as you can see on here, is that our igniter will turn on. He's right about here, and you'll see him in a second here turn uh, an orange glowing color. It's a hot surface igniter. So there he goes right now, and our thermostat is in agreement with that. So once he gets nice and hot, then the burner will actually, or the gas valve will open up and let combustion happen. So you can see our burners are all lit now at this point. Our thermostat's in agreement, saying we have gas flow. So right now this guy is running with just the airflow of the inducer motor and the blower itself down below is not actually on yet. We let him run in order for the heat exchanger to get nice and warm and then once it's warm we go ahead and turn on the blower otherwise folks might get a cold blow on him. I'm gonna put the door back on here just so you can hear the difference between it with the door on and the door off. So obviously that's a lot quieter with the door on. We had it open so we could show you guys stuff. So the next thing that will happen on here is the blower motor will actually turn on for us and that will allow air to flow up through the furnace through the assembly here. We should hear it click any second now. So our, therm our thermostat is showing us we're at 40% gas flow. We initially started off at 65% and now it's throttled back down to 40 because we asked it to run in low fire right now. We have 330 CFM on the indoor blower because we're in low fire. We have uh, 1,900 RPM on the inducer motor, 375 RPM on the blower motor. We're running at 0.1 inches of static because we have a very small duct system with little restriction to it. Most thermostats won't show you any of this information. This one's a little bit special, which is why we chose to use it for the sequence of operation video so you can see what's actually happening here. Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of how furnaces operate, and we'll have more furnace videos coming out for you in the future. Thank you.